Achieving financial stability and becoming debt-free is a goal that many strive for, regardless of their income level. However, accomplishing this goal can be more challenging when your income is low. You must avoid several mistakes to become debt-free on a low income successfully. By knowing what these mistakes are and avoiding them, you'll be well to reaching your goals. Hello everyone! Welcome to the Finance Wisdom Channel. If you are new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. This video will discuss, do not let these mistakes sleep on your debt-free journey on a low income. Watch this video throughout so you don't have any regrets later on. Mistake number one, not tracking your expenses. Tracking your expenses is one of the critical factors to success in your debt-free journey on a low income. You have to know where your money is going to make informed decisions about your spending. Unfortunately, many people make the mistake of not tracking their expenses, which can lead to problems. Without knowing where your money is going, it's easy to overspend and end up in debt. Additionally, not tracking your expenses can make it challenging to stick to a budget. If you're unsure where your money is going, you will likely spend more than you can afford. To avoid these mistakes, be sure to track your expenses carefully. There are many ways to track your expenses, from simple pen and paper methods to more sophisticated online tools. Whatever method you choose, getting started and committing to tracking your spending is essential. Doing so will help you stay on track and progress toward your financial goals. Mistake number two, not having a savings plan. Getting caught up in the day-to-day -day and forgetting about our long-term financial goals is so easy. We tell ourselves we will start saving next week, next month, or even next year. But before we know it, years have gone by and we are no closer to our debt-free goal. Do not let these mistakes live. Not having a savings plan. A savings plan doesn't have to be complicated. Simply set aside a fixed amount of money each month that you will put into savings. This could be 50, 100, or even 500, depending on your income. Automate your savings plan by setting up a direct deposit from your paycheck into your savings account. This way, you will never see the money and will be less tempted to spend it. Finally, periodically review your progress and adjust your plan as needed. By following these simple steps, you can be well on your way to achieving financial freedom. Mistake number three. Buying things you don't need with your credit card. There's no denying that credit cards can be helpful. They can help you build your credit score and are handy in a pinch. However, credit cards can also be dangerous if you're not careful. One of the biggest dangers is buying things you don't need with your card. It's easy to do when you're swiping without thinking. And before you know it, you've racked a sizable bill. Not only is this bad for your finances, but it can also lead to debt if you're not careful. Paying off your credit card can be tricky if you're on a low income. That's why it's essential to be mindful of your spending and only use your credit card for things you genuinely need. Mistake number four, paying only the minimum debt amount each month. Debt can be a difficult thing to face, especially if you're on a low income. You may be tempted to pay the minimum amount each month, but this can cost you more in the long run. Interest charges can quickly add up, and you may struggle to keep up with your payments. In addition, making only the minimum payment can damage your credit score, making it difficult to get approved for your future loans. If you are serious about getting out of debt, creating a budget and making regular payments that are as high as you can afford is essential. This may require some sacrifice in the short term, but it will pay off in the long run. Debt freedom is within reach. Don't let mistakes like this stand in your way. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this video. Mistake number five, not negotiating a lower interest rate on your debt. If you're on a low income and trying to become debt free, the last thing you want to do is make mistakes that will set you back. One mistake that far too many people make is not negotiating a lower interest rate on their debt. This is a critical mistake because it can mean the difference between becoming debt-free in a few years or taking decades to pay off your debt. The good news is that it's relatively easy to negotiate a lower interest rate on your debt. 
All you need to do is call your creditors and ask them to lower your interest rate. They may be willing to give you a lower rate if you have a good payment history. If not, you can ask for a one-time interest rate reduction or request that they lower your rate over time. Either way, it's worth taking the time to negotiate a lower interest rate on your debt because it can save you a lot of money in the long run. Mistake number six, taking on more debt to pay off other debt. Debt-free journey on a low income is possible, but only if you avoid common debt mistakes. One of the biggest debt mistakes is taking on more debt to pay off other debt. This might seem like a good idea initially, but it's a recipe for disaster. First, it's important to remember that debt is not created equal. Some debt, like student loan debt, is much easier to repay than other debt, like credit card debt. So if you're taking on more debt to pay off your student loans, you're making your situation worse. Furthermore, you're increasing your monthly payments by taking on more debt, making it even harder to get out of debt. Finally, if you cannot repay your new debt, you'll be faced with even more late fees and interest charges which will only add to your debt burden. Mistake number seven, not using a debt reduction planner. A debt reduction planner can help you stay on track by providing a roadmap for your debt-free journey on a low income. It can also help you find ways to save money and become more efficient with your debt repayments. Without a debt reduction planner, it is easy to make mistakes that can cost you time and money. For example, you may overlook debts with lower interest rates, or fail to consider the long-term impact of making only minimum payments. Finally, mistake number eight, letting bills go unpaid for too long. One of the worst things you can do when trying to get debt free is to let your bills go unpaid for too long. Not only will this damage your credit score, but it can also lead to late fees and additional interest charges. If you're struggling to make ends meet, you must seek help. Some agencies and organizations can offer financial assistance, so don't be afraid to ask for help. Remember, the sooner you get your debt under control, the sooner you can start living a debt-free life. No one is perfect and mistakes are going to happen. But if you can avoid making the following mistakes on your debt-free journey on a low income, you'll be in a much better shape to achieve your financial goals. Have you made any of these mistakes? If so, don't worry. We can help you get back on track. Let's work together to create a plan to help you stay accountable and achieve your debt-free dreams. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. Thank you and goodbye.